is the Chinese sixth generation fighter real? Well, yes, but not for the reason you're thinking. So I wonder why I need to do these videos, to be honest. But for those who don't know what the problem is, in the recent Zhuhai Air Show and Expo, the Chinese AVIC actually presented a DACE, which is supposed to be a mock-up of the B variant of a sixth generation fighter capable of hypersonic speed and near space operations. Well, I like Star Wars as the next guy. Several Western news outlets pick up the news and amplified this story. So plenty of viewers ask me to talk about this when there is actually not much to say about it. Even at a superficial analysis, it's quite clear that such a design doesn't really make sense. Very small wings with an old style supersonic design that makes sense at Mach 3, but at Mach 6, it will probably melt away. The propulsion doesn't make sense if you look at the intakes. The conduit is very short, it is converging, and there seems to be an engine right behind that, a jet or a turbofan engine. These engines don't work beyond Mach 2.5, 2.6. Beyond that, you need a ramjet or a scramjet. Look at what happened with the SR-71 that had those extremely complex engines that, depending on the aircraft speed, behave like a turbojet or a ramjet. It's not that the physics fundamentals have changed in the last 50 years, but the telltale sign is the position of the undercarriage. The center of gravity of an aircraft is more or less positioned right above or slightly in front of the main undercarriage. The problem is rotation at takeoff. If the center of gravity is too much ahead, the rotation becomes almost impossible. This mock-up has an extremely long and bulky forward fuselage and the main carriage is way back. It's impossible for the center of gravity being placed like that. The mock-up stands on his feet because it's empty. It's probably wood with a metallic frame inside. Moreover, there are plenty of other details that really don't seem real. For example, the cockpit is not transparent. The wing surface is very small and for an aircraft that needs to take off and land, yeah, that's definitely too small. So honestly, even looking at it, there is no way this thing is a real design. So why did the Chinese present it at the air show? Well, I think there are two possibilities. One is just a payback because do you remember what happened when Top Gun Maverick came out? Do you remember Tom Cruise piloting a hypersonic aircraft? Well, it seems that the Chinese altered the orbit of one of their reconnaissance satellites to have a good look at the prop, just in case it was real. I think that here they're just trying to pay back the West with the same currency. <laughs> but there's another explanation, actually. Thanks to some of the viewers and people on the Discord server, I've been told that that aircraft is featured in a science fiction novel which is actually published by a publishing house that has ties with AVIC. So it could well be a prop, just a PR stunt, just to promote the book. So that aircraft is not real. But why did they say at the beginning that it was? Well, because at Zhuai there was a model, not a mock-up, of a Chinese study for a sixth generation aircraft, like this. So the Chinese are actually working on a sixth generation fighter, but it's not the White Emperor. So thank you very much for watching this video where I wear my silly hat. Thank you very much to all those who support the channel or Patreon or by being a member or by any other mean. And if you can support the channel financially, which is perfectly fine, please just subscribe if you haven't. Hit like, hit the bell or leave a comment. It is highly appreciated. So this is the end. See you next time with something more serious. Bye.